Have you ever wondered about how Catalina Island was formed? I guess to answer this question, you need a pretty good understanding of the Earth's geological events. Let's think about what source or engine drives our Earth internally. We can even do this while we wait for our lava lamps to heat up. We can pretend that the light bulb inside of our lava lamp is the Earth's internal heat source. As a substance gains heat energy, in the case of the lava lamp, heat is transferred from the hot light bulb to the lava. It becomes less dense than the surrounding liquid, causing the substance, the lava, to rise. As the substance moves away from the heat source, the light bulb, heat energy is transferred from the blob to the surrounding particles, such as the glass and the surrounding air molecules. As the substance loses heat energy, it becomes more dense than the surrounding liquid, which causes the substance to sink. As the substance sinks closer to the heat source, heat energy is transferred back into the substance, causing the process to repeat itself. The rising and sinking movement of a liquid or gas due to changes in density is known as convection current. Convection currents cause the tectonic plates to move several centimeters per year. Catalina Island was formed by the subduction of the ancient Farallon tectonic plate below the continental North American plate. Very little of this ancient plate exists today. Catalina Island is a rare example of Farallon rock which, when subducted under the North American plate, goes under intense pressure and volcanic heat. The volcanic activity expelled from the metamorphic schist to form basal layers of rock on the island. This subduction resulted in the uplifting of the North American and Pacific plates and the rising of Catalina Island from the ocean some two million years ago. And that, my friends, is how the beautiful Catalina Island was formed.